my God. 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 Blessed and highly favored. Oh, amen. Pastor Greg, I am ready to praise the Lord. Amen and amen. Nikita, so good to see you. Uh, not without a mask. Uh, oh, it's so good to see you. It's so great to see you. It was wonderful. How wonderful. Oh, great. Amen. Great, great, great. Pastor Greg, it's so good to see you. I'm masked up and ready to socially distance and praise the Lord with you. Nakia, so good to see you too. It's so good to see you. I'm so happy. To I be love here. the worship. What a long it's week. I know. Oh my goodness, it's COVID. It's fine, I know, but I'm Hello, here. I'm here. Oh my God. God. Praise the Lord. It's so much time. Oh my Lord. Oh, 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 what's what's oh, going on? I, I'm telling you. I, I just, I mean, God is so good. Yes, he is, and he's even better from over there. Oh, my God. You know, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, thank oh, you. Praise the Lord. Lord. Spirit. I'm, I'm with you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Oh, my saints it is time to worship at freedom church let us get started but before we do this week's announcements first we are so excited to announce that we have a new instagram page so i want to ask everybody if you have your phone take your phone out pull up instagram and go to our page it is freedomchurch.fcmi here you're going to see all the pictures all the videos all of the latest and greatest images of the folks the people the youth the pastors the leaders who are making things happen every day please follow us and share with your friends also you will see on the instagram page more information about the we free mentoring program we talked about that last week it has four components we know in this house of the lord that one of those components is a golf component that is led by our own pastor dad and leaders from rabbit's low country club the second component music and arts is led by our worship and praise team thank you jarell shout out also conflict resolution and law enforcement discussions are led by our own pastor Dwayne. if you are a youth leader or if you want to be we encourage you to meet with pastor Dwayne right after service in the lobby now this week's announcements regarding our meeting monday night do not miss prayer with sister benia 7 p.m. It is a Zoom call, so if you want to be a part of that, please see a member of our media team after service in the lobby to add your email address to our list. And then on Wednesday, our own Pastor Bill does Bible study. It is an anointed moment, an anointed meeting. Do not want to miss that. See Pastor Bill or sign up with a member of our media team. Save the date. It is coming up for our spring leaders meeting. It is May 15th at 10 a.m. right here at Freedom in our Lansing location. And also, restorative justice, as we have seen in the news, is one of the most increasingly popular subjects that we need to talk about, know about, and prepare for. So Sunday, April 25th, and Sunday, May 2nd, join us here from 1 to 4. Refreshments will be served. What will we do? We're going to talk about how restorative, I'm sorry, how restorative justice can positively impact our lives, those around us, those we love in our homes, in our work, and within our communities. Also, want to be a part of making things better and learning to bridge the gap between our community and police? Join us for the program of police officers. It's a bridge for the community and its government. This program also provides a pathway for jobs and government, so please come out, find out how you can get involved, and learn about jobs and government and in your community. Please see Pastor Bill if you want to be a part of that. It will be Friday, April 23rd at 6 p.m. in room 108. 
right here at Freedom Church. Contact Pastor Bill at 312-316-7116 or email at decrease at AOL.com. Also, if you're interested in volunteering or know someone who does, or if you want to be a part of the Freedom family to get to know everybody, please come out and join us for Freedom Fest. It is our back to school community outreach. Please sign up in the lobby after service. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow Freedom on YouTube, Facebook, and now, of course, Instagram. Don't forget to do that, as we talked about earlier. And before we get started, please give and give often at freechurch.org slash give. Help us to empower, encourage, and motivate our youth, our communities, and families. We can do it together, and it all starts right now. Let's get ready to worship, everybody. Good morning, Freedom Church. Hallelujah. I said good morning, Freedom Church. Hallelujah. Will you stand with us as we prepare to worship God? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible declares that let everything that has breath praise God. And when I got up this morning, the Lord just put this scripture on my heart. Um, Revelations 12, right? And it says that we've overcome by the blood of the Lamb. And by the words of our testimony, hallelujah. Does anybody believe that you're an overcomer this morning? Come on, hallelujah. I said, does anybody believe that you are more than a conqueror? Hallelujah. Through him who loves you, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We love you so much, God. Church, hallelujah. Say, I'm gonna see it. 
throw your hands up to the heavens right now as we make this declaration to the Lord it says you take what the enemy meant for evil and you turn it for good you turn it for good come on church hallelujah say you take you take what the enemy meant for evil you turn it for good you turn it for good one more time say you church hallelujah the lord is in his holy temple oh yes he is say you take you take you take you take with the enemy
Great is your faithfulness, your faithfulness. I know that I'm still in your hands. I know that I'm still in your hands. I know that Freedom Church is still in your hands, Jesus. Come on, somebody prophesy. I know that Freedom Church is still in your hands. Yes, it is. Hey, we're still in your hands. This is our confidence. Jesus, you never, never failed us yet. Come on, somebody begin to open your mouth right now. Say, you never failed me yet. Come on, is somebody willing to prophesy right now? You never failed me yet. Come on, every believer begin to open your mouth right now. Jesus has never failed me yet. Oh, no, Jesus. Oh, no, you haven't. You never failed me yet. Oh, the promise still stands. Great is your faithfulness. Your faithfulness. We're still in your hands. This is the confidence. My confidence. My confidence. It's only in you, Jesus. It's not in my ability. It's not in any gift that you've given me. But my confidence lies in you, Jesus. My my identity lies in you, Jesus. Yes, it does. Oh, promise still stands. Great is your faithfulness. Your faithfulness. Come on, every hand lifted to the heavens. I'm still in your hands. Come on, begin to prophesy this over your own life, saying, I'm still in your hands. Come on, talk to the Lord this morning, church. We, he wants to hear from us. We're still in your hands. Oh, we're still in your hands. Oh, yes, we are. We're still in your hands. Even Freedom Church, glory be to God, and all of its people, we're still in your hands. Because we overcome by the blood of the Lamb. Oh, we're still in your hands. See, we have a blood brought right to be free, church. Hallelujah. I'm still in your hands. Jesus already made the way. Oh, God, I'm still in your hands. This is our confidence. You've never failed me yet.
one And it looked like And it looked as if it was over You made a way And we're standing here Only because you made a way You made a way When your back, come on When our backs were against the wall
standing here only because he made and you're standing right there only because he made and you're standing right here every hand stretched to the heavens right now do you know that you are here only because of what Jesus has done for you hallelujah now listen I don't know your testimony I don't know what you've been through but I can testify for myself hallelujah we are all here by the grace of God hallelujah come on somebody begin to lift up a shout of praise right there hallelujah it's by the grace of God hallelujah that you're still alive hallelujah it's by the grace of god that you're still alive somebody say i'm still here i'm still here i'm still here i'm still here yeah what the enemy meant for evil god has turned it around for good oh jesus oh hallelujah we just come to worship you jesus We just come to worship you. Is there anybody just came to just lay prostrate before the Lord? Hallelujah. Father, we came here for you. Hallelujah. We came here for you, Jesus. We came here for you. You're the main attraction here, Jesus. Oh, hey. We came here for you. Begin to let that thing get in your soul. And I'm standing right here Only because You made a way And my family is here Only because You made a way And my children are here Only because you made Hey! You made a way Oh! Only because you made, you made a way. I'm trying to move on, church. Hallelujah. But he's been too good to me. Hallelujah. Has he been good to anybody in the house? Hallelujah. Just begin to throw your hands back right now and say, you've been so good. 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 Yes, you have, Jesus. And we love you. Hey, glory be to God. Only because you made a way. Hallelujah. That sickness couldn't take you over. Hallelujah. That cancer couldn't take you out. Hallelujah. That sugar diabetes. Hallelujah. Couldn't kill you because it was the grace of God on your life. It was the grace of God on your life. Hey. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You give life. You are love. You bring light to the darkness. You give hope. You restore every heart that is Great are you, Lord, oh God. Great are you, Lord. This is my testimony. It's your breath in our lungs. So we pour out our praise. I pour out my praise. It's your breath, God, in my lungs. So we pour out our praise to you only. Great are you, Lord. Oh, yeah. Great are you, Lord. Come on, praise.
praise team say you give life you give me life you are love you bring life Come on, every hand lifted to Jesus. Hallelujah. God is doing something in this house. Hallelujah. And I'm here for breakthrough. Oh, yeah. Great are you. Come on, every believer, get involved. Hallelujah. Say, great. So we pour out our praise, pour out our praise. It's your breath in our lungs. Come on, so we pour it out. There's nothing left to do at this point because Jesus has done it all. There's nothing left for me to do but lift my hands. Yeah. Come on, church. Hallelujah. It's your breath. Church, join in with us. Say, I feel God so strongly in this room. You restore every heart that is broken. Say, great are you, Lord. Say, great are you, great are you, Lord. Jesus right now. Say great are you Lord. Doesn't matter what's going on in your situation. Great are you. Great are you. Great are you Lord. Great are you Lord. Great are you Lord. Now I want us to to declare this next part together it says all the earth will shout your praise my heart will sing my heart will say great are you lord hey hallelujah all the earth will shout your praise our hearts will cry these bones will sing great are you lord come on somebody declare this mighty declaration with the say all the Shout your praise, our hearts. 
We love you. It's your breath, God. Come on, let's continue to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Such a sweet, sweet spirit in the room. Hallelujah. For those that are here in the room and those that are watching online, can you declare that over yourself, that great is the Lord? Amen. Can we just break right there? Great is the Lord. Great is the Lord. And I need for you to declare that over, speak that over your life. Speak that over your situation. Speak that over your body. Speak that over your mind. Some of you all have upcoming situations and doctor's appointments and decisions that you have and you don't see really any way out. Hallelujah. And for those that play chess, there's a term called checkmates. And it literally says the king is dead. But we've come to encourage you that the king is not dead. The king is alive, well alive. The Bible says, who is the king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, mighty in battle. That's the king that you have as an advocate for your life. Hallelujah, great is the Lord. Come on, let's just right there. And I need for you all to just stand, great, declare that over great. your life. Great. Yes, 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 Say yes. Come on, come on, come on. Over you yourself, Lord. over yourself, over yourself. Great are you, Lord. Say great are you, Lord. Yes, 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 yes. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Come on, hallelujah, hallelujah. I can't sing it for you. I can't declare that for you. It's you. Declare it over your life, over your life. See, it's your your home, your family, your marriage.
one time over you, one time over you. Let the Holy Spirit just seal that over your life. Sing that to yourself. The Bible says that David encouraged himself. Mm. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Hallelujah. Did you know that sheep were never load-bearing or burden-bearing animals? We were never designed to bear a load. We were never, we were never designed to, to bear a load. So whatever that thing is that you walked in here with, and I'm not saying that you should deny it because it's a very real situation, but that it would just give God that much more glory that he's a great God even in the midst of that situation. So the Lord is saying, whatever it is that you walked in here with, break your alabaster box and pour it all upon him. Upon him, right there where you're standing. Right there where you're standing. Right there where you're standing. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And if you know that someone that's ill or that you want to stand in proxy for, again, for our family here and those that are watching online, do so stand in proxy with them. Begin to declare and agree with your brothers and sisters right here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. God, we thank you. We thank you, Jesus, for every need, every person regardless of why they're here, whether they are family members or this is their home, they were invited, they were tricked, coerced, or whatever the reason that they're here, the fact of the matter is, God, that you do all things well. You've never made a mistake. There is no coincidence. You knew exactly where we would be sitting, where we would be standing, what we would be wearing. You know exactly where our emotional and mental state is, physically what we're going through, God. In a world of billions of people and perhaps hundreds of millions of believers praying right now, inexplicably so, God, we have your undivided attention. I don't know how that works, but we have your undivided attention, Lord. You know us by name. You know us by need. In Jesus' name. Come on, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Hallelujah. 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 Do we have any visitors in the room? Any visitors? First time visitors. Amen. God bless you. Any perhaps second time visitors in the house? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Well, we're so grateful. We, we're so thankful that you chose to uh, meet with us to be a part of what we call uh, an encounter with God. This is more than just coming to church and going through the motions. Prayerfully and realistically so that you will be changed and you will leave here again. I know it's a cliche, but that you will leave here different than the way that you came in. That's the kind of God that we serve. Come on, somebody give him some praise right there. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So again, we welcome you. Thank you so much. Prayerfully, this will not be your last time. Uh, we, when you walked in, my prayer is that you felt uh, the love from the Freedom family, but more importantly, that you felt the presence of God, that you felt his presence. Amen. Come on, one more time for him. One more time for him. Hallelujah. At this time, let's direct our signs to the screen. It is time to worship at Freedom Church. Let us get started. But before we do, this week's announcements. First, we are so excited to announce that we have a new Instagram page. So I want to ask everybody, if you have your phone, take your phone out, pull up Instagram, and go to our page. It is freedomchurch.fcmi. Here you're going to see all the pictures, all the videos, all of the latest and greatest images of the folks, the people, the youth, the pastors, the leaders who are making things happen every day. Please follow us and share with your friends. Also, you will see on the Instagram page more information about the We Free 
mentoring program. We talked about that last week. It has four components. We know in this house of the Lord that one of those components is a golf component. That is led by our own pastor Thad and leaders from Rabbit's Low Country Club. The second component, music and arts, is led by our worship and praise team. Thank you, Jarrell, shout out. Also, conflict resolution and law enforcement discussions are led by our own Pastor Dwayne. If you are a leader or if you want to be, we encourage you to meet with Pastor Dwayne right after service in the lobby. Now, this week's announcements regarding our meetings. Monday night, do not miss prayer with Sister Benia. 7 p.m., it is a Zoom call, so if you want to be a part of that, please see a member of our media team after service in the lobby to add your email address to our list. And then on Wednesday, our own Pastor Bill does Bible study. It is an anointed moment, an anointed meeting. Do not want to miss that. See Pastor Bill or sign up with a member of our media team. Save the date. It is coming up for our spring leaders meeting. It is May 15th at 10 a.m. right here at Freedom in our Lansing location. And also, restorative justice, as we have seen in the news, is one of the most increasingly popular subjects that we need to talk about, know about, and prepare for. So Sunday, April 25th, and Sunday, May 2nd, join us here from 1 to 4. Refreshments will be served. What will we do? We're going to talk about how restorative, I'm sorry, how restorative justice can positively impact our lives, those around us, those we love, in our homes, in our work, and within our communities. Also, want to be a part of making things better and learning to bridge the gap between our community and police? Join us for the program of police officers. It's a bridge for the community and its government. This program also provides a pathway for jobs and government, so please come out, find out how you can get involved, and learn about jobs in government and in your community. Please see Pastor Bill if you want to be a part of that. It will be Friday, April 23rd at 6 p.m. in Room 108, right here at Freedom Church. Contact Pastor Bill at 312-316-7116 or email at decrease at aol.com. Also, if you're interested in volunteering or know someone who does, or if you want to be a part of the Freedom family to get to know everybody, Please come out and join us for Freedom Fest. It is our back to school community outreach. Please sign up in the lobby after service. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow Freedom on YouTube, Facebook, and now of course, Instagram. Don't forget to do that as we talked about earlier. And before we get started, please give and give often at freechurch.org slash give. Help us to empower, encourage, and motivate our youth, our communities, and families. We can do it together, and it all starts right now. Let's get ready to worship, everybody. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. We just want to reiterate uh, for the, the as it relates to the giving. Uh, obviously, the online giving is there, uh, but for those that have uh, want to do it old school, if I would, if I may say uh, that, um, you can. If you have a check or something, there is a red uh, dispenser a receptacle uh, in the rear there uh, to my left, the first entrance coming in uh, in the, the lobby there. So you can feel free uh, to just uh, drop your love gift or whatever it is there. Uh, as you can see that we've got uh, Freedom Church is on the move, right? Uh, this is a church that um, impact influencing and empowering, not just internally here, but also reaching out, outward reaching, and not just locally here in Lansing, the state, uh, the nation, but globally, amen. Freedom Church is on the move. You are a part of that. Uh, your giving is, uh, you're planting in good soil, fresh soil where you can see tangible results, right? Come on, come on. Amen, amen. <laughs> oh, um, amen. <laughs> So at this time, amen, you know, just one more time, let's just give God some praise. Amen. As we welcome Pastor Eric, amen, as he brings a word, there is a word from the Lord. Amen.
Tell us what to do. Tell us how to do it. We're ready to receive it. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Am I still not on the devil's mad at me? It's okay. It's okay. It's good to see everyone. Do I? There we are. And then there was me. Um, it's good to see everyone. If you could turn your Bibles open and turn on that mobile device, let's jump right in to John chapter 15. We're starting a new series called The Real MVP. The Real MVP. Not the most valuable player, but this month or for the next four weeks, we're going to be talking about mission, vision, and purpose. John chapter 15, verse 12. Yes, chapter 15, verse 12. Thank you so much to our worship team. Do an excellent job leading us into the God's presence. Thank you so much to technology. I'm going to turn this one off. To everyone who serves here, thank you so much. John chapter 15, verse 12. I'm going to be reading from the NIV. I won't be before you long. I'll be finished before Chick-fil-A closes today. <laughs> that went over somebody's head. It's okay. See us after class. My command is this. Love each other as I have loved My command is this, love each other. Real quick, anybody can think of somebody that just is real hard to do, like you feel the tension right here on the back of your neck, like you wanna say it's in parentheses, love everybody except. My suggestion, no, it doesn't say suggestion. My advice, no, it doesn't say my advice. My command <laughs> is this, love each other as I have loved you. For the next two or three hours, <clears throat> I'm just seeing if you're awake, I want to speak from the subject, loved people love people. Loved people love people. And let me just preface this for just a moment. The next few moments are going to get a little tense. Someone's get, going to get a little uncomfortable. Somebody's going to get mad at me. So I want to give you a phone number you can call if you have a complaint. Anybody ready for the phone number? 588-2300. If you've got a complaint about this message, you don't like my voice, you think I didn't prepare, somebody missed that one too. Just see us after class. In Arizona, a black couple feared for their lives as a white man pulled out an All Lives Matter t-shirt and a gun on them during a business meeting at the shared kitchen space that he owns. Don't you hate it when the pastor's child runs through while the pastor's preaching? Let's just extend our hands for the three-year-old Ethan. <laughs> the couple was able to make it out alive, but not before the wife hesitated to call the police for fear of them shooting her husband, her black husband, instead of the white man who pulled the gun. It's been a rough week. Let me prove my case. America, particularly black America, is watching the Derek Chauvin murder trial. He is the officer who held and had his knee on the neck of George Floyd 
for one minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, six minutes, seven minutes, eight minutes, nine and a half minutes. I think we have that graphic somewhere. Let me prove my case. America, particularly black America, we are all watching Georgia. As it appears that they're resurrecting some Jim Crow systematic discrimination laws again. Let me work my case. In Minnesota, police officer Kimberly Porter fatally shot and killed 20-year-old Dante Wright. He was black and unarmed. I'm pausing so we can embrace the tension. In Virginia, police officers used excessive force during the traffic stop of second lieutenant, Karan or Karen Naziaro, forgive me for messing up his name, who is black and Latino. He was mocked had guns pointed at him, pepper sprayed, and shoved to the ground. In South Carolina, Jonathan Petland, an army soldier, assaulted a young black man as he was walking down the street in the community he lives in. Somebody's waiting, is he gonna open the Bible? Just slow up. <laughs> 13 year old. Anybody have a 13-year-old? Anybody had a 13-year-old? Anybody raising children? But he shouldn't have been up at 2 a.m. He should have been... Things happen. Children are children. 13-year-old Adam Toledo was shot and killed after doing what the officer said. Stop, put your hands up, now turn around. But he had a gun. It wasn't in his hand. But it was 2 a.m. It wasn't in his hand. Then a man who refused to wear a mask in a hardware store allegedly struck an employee with a piece of lumber and then had the nerve to flee the scene. He then allegedly drives away from police dragging an officer. See, dragging an officer is assault. Dragging an officer and lives to tell about it. Lives to brag about it. And this is the very same state 
where Dante Wright was shot and killed. Some would say, I'm not saying, some would say, I'm not saying, but I'm repeating, some would say, it appears that it's safer to be a white man who just committed a mass shooting than to be a black man during a routine traffic stop. So, if you're angry, you have the right to be angry. If you're mad, you have the right to be mad, whether you're white or black. If you're disturbed, if you're furious, if you're infuriated, if you're irate, if you're saying words under your breath you don't normally say, you have every right to feel that way. And as tired and as sick and tired as some of us are about experiencing and seeing racism, there are white people who are noble, who are good, who are considerate, who are empathetic, and they're tired of seeing other white people do black people wrong. I'm not here to say who's racist. I'm not here to say who's not racist. But I do believe this. I believe hurt people hurt people. I believe there are pe people who are worried about who's going to be the minority and who's going to be the majority come 2042. I believe there are people wondering and, and walking the earth wondering, is this, I don't, is this going to happen to us? And they feel hurt but without even feeling anything yet. Let me, let me explain my case. Statistics show that hurt people hurt people. Statistics show that children who are abused are more likely to grow up and become abusers. Statistics show that children of people who abuse alcohol and drugs will become adults who abuse alcohol and drugs. But I believe regardless of your upbringing, regardless of the way you were raised, if you're taking notes, just write this down. Your history does not have to be your destiny. Come on here. Your history does not have to be your, you may have been raised in a racist home, you may have been raised by a single mother, and you may not think you can do it too, and you can have a family, but your history does not have to be your destiny. Maybe you ain't the same meal over and over again as a young person, but you know what? You can grow up and you can be able to eat whatever you want, wherever you want. Your history does not have to be your destiny. I believe it. You don't have to be broken, broken. You can be healed and made whole. Your history does not have to be your destiny. Just because your mother married a psychopath, that doesn't mean you have to. Just because you, your parents got a divorce doesn't mean you have to get a divorce. Just because you never saw a good marriage doesn't mean you can't have one. Your history does not have to be your destiny. Believe it or not, you don't even have to work for a narcissist. You can actually like your supervisor. You can get a job in the degree that you studied. Your history and what people tell you does not have to be your destiny. The Bible says, well, let me keep going because somebody's wondering, am I going to go back to the Bible? So let me make you even more mad. Hmm. This is what I understand about hurt people hurting people. I believe the White House can hurt people. The White House, that's an office, not a person. I believe the White House can hurt people. I believe the schoolhouse can hurt people. I believe corrupt judges and the courthouse can hurt people. But since I'm in church, let me talk to us. 
We said the schoolhouse. <laughs> We've said the schoolhouse. We've said the courthouse. We said the White House. But the church. Oh, no. I just made somebody mad. 588-2300. Just, just, just. <laughs> the church can be rude. The church can be short. The church can be proud. The church can be self-righteous. We can be haughty and, well, I've been saved since I was 13. We can be arrogant. We smell ourselves all the time. We smell ourselves all the time. If somebody comes in smelling like weed, smelling like alcohol, you're going to give them the dirty look. You're going to give them an elevator. And how, how dare they come to church smelling like that? Negro, you ain't always smell good. Oh, I'm sorry. I just made some 588-2300. But if hurt people hurt people, if hurting people hurt people for some type of relief, then I've got to believe that loved people love people. Why should I not believe that loved people love people. And this is one of our new core values. That loved people, according to John chapter 15, my command is this. See, I made you happy. I jumped in the Bible. This, love each other as I have loved you. So how do we show this kind of love? I'm going to hurry up because we all want to go to Chick-fil-A. How do we demonstrate this kind of love? How do we simplify and exemplify this kind of love? Number one, welcome everyone. 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 I'm not hospitality. Shut up. Welcome everyone. Welcome everyone. Welcome everyone. Are you a member? Are you alive? Then welcome everyone. Welcome everyone. Welcome everyone. Did you come here? Then darn it. Welcome. Speak to somebody. Welcome everyone. Welcome. Romans chapter 15 in the message says, so reach out. So reach out. So reach out. If you're taking notes, Romans chapter 15, 7 through 13 in the message. So reach out. Reach out and welcome one another to God's glory. Jesus did it, jerk, now you do it. Jesus did it with your stuck-up self, now you do it. Well, that's the pastor's job. That's the greeter's job. That's hospitality. I'm not an usher. They might have the, the COVID cooties. Shut up and just give them a, a Wakanda forever. Can you, can you be nice? Can you be nice? It's a shame. Let's talk about Chick-fil-A. Why is Chick-fil-A nicer than the church? I would be right to call the corporate head of the corporate office and say, can you all come to freedom? Because we are a bunch of jerks. Can you teach us how to be nice? And then go to the other church. They're mean too. And then go to that other church. They're mean too. Jesus did it. Now you do it. Be nice. Jesus says, watch this. Jesus, staying true to God's purpose, reached out in a special way to the Jewish insiders. That's us. So that the old ancestral promises would come true for them. As a result, the non-Jewish outsiders have been able to experience mercy. Is mercy just for us insiders? Is grace just for us ins Is forgiveness just for, is Jesus just for us? As a result, the non-Jewish outsiders have been able to experience mercy and to show appreciation to God. Just think of all the scriptures that will come true in what we do. For instance, then I'll join outsiders in a hymn and sing. I'll sing to your name and this one, outsiders and insiders rejoice together. And again, people of all nations. People of all nations, all economic backgrounds, 
GED, PhD, smelling like weed, Pace Bus, Be Beamer, Benz, Bentley with Gucci interior. Oh, that's some of y'all in here. Outsiders and insiders rejoice together. And again, people of all nations celebrating God. All colors and races give hearty praise. But this is the most segregated time of the week. Mm-hmm. But the Bible says all colors and races give hearty praise. Love usually begins with our attitudes. A Christ-like attitude understands that we all need Christ. So my question is, can you reach out to people in love who don't look like you, who not balling out of control like you, who don't live in the same zip code and area code like you. Can you reach out to Android users? <laughs> oh, come on, Pastor. You didn't have to. I don't, I don't know. I was with you till you said that. Jesus made apple. Jesus made apple. Stop. They don't believe us yet. Lord, help us. I just distracted the whole time. Can you, can you, and will you reach out when God kind of nudges you on the shoulder? Can we make a space for not just insiders, but also outsiders to feel welcome? So they won't even know whose hospitality. They just think everybody's hot. They won't know who the pastor is. They just think everybody's nice. Can you, will you do that? When you do this, when you do this, write this down. When you directly create the environment for insiders, watch this, to experience Jesus, you indirectly create the environment for outsiders to experience Jesus. In other words, stop being selfish. Okay, you don't think you're selfish? If you come here with a ve in a vehicle that has four seats, six seats, three rows, and you pull up by yourself, You're being selfish. So how do I invite somebody with me, Pastor? Bribe them and drag them. Some folks you got to drag. Who was dragged to church? Sunday school. Listen, Sunday school. Lord, help me today. Uh, Apostolic Church got Sunday school, and then it was 9.15, and then it was 11.45, and then it was uh, 4 o'clock, and then it was uh, Bible study, and then it was VBS. We were dragged from Homewood all the way to 63rd Street. Drag. Come on, Jeff. Come on, Eric. You can drag your children. Everybody else, just bribe them. If you come with me to church... I'll buy you lunch. What do you want? Panera? Six wings? What do you want? <laughs> what is a $10 meal if somebody experiences the presence of God? <laughs> Before the preached word, they can get delivered just in worship. And they'll, they, tears may, I don't know what's going on. I'm crying. That's the Lord touching them. Is it worth $10 to you? Let me keep going. I'm, I don't want to make you mad. Will you welcome people in your community like a friend? Will you welcome people on your job and invite them like a friend? Loved people. I'm a rush. Love people. Love people. We will welcome everyone. Number two, we will care for everyone. We will care for everyone. We won't just get them in. We'll care for everyone. We'll care for everyone. Acts chapter 2, verse 44 through 47 I'm going to hurry up. It says this. All the believers were together and had everything in common. All the believers were there 
together and had everything in common. They sold property and possessions to give to anyone who had a need. Every day they Every day they continued to meet together. Every day they came to freedom. Anybody coming to freedom tomorrow? No, bro, I got to go to AT&T. I work at Comcast. I got to go to the school. But they did that in the text. They hung out together every day. They sold property and possessions to give to anyone who had need. Every day they continued to meet together in the temple courts. They broke bread in their homes. Some of us won't let anybody. You don't even let your kids in the house sometimes. Let me keep going. You done put them out. As soon as they turn 18. Okay, let me keep going. I made somebody mad. It's okay. 588-2300. Every day they continued to meet together in the temple courts. They broke bread in their homes and ate together with glad and sincere hearts. When are we going to be glad and sincere? Verse 47. Praising God and enjoying the favor of all the people. That's our problem. Praising God and enjoying the favor of all the people. Because really, we just want to enjoy our clique. Oh, pastor, we don't have cliques at Freedom. Hmm. Pastor, we talk to everybody at Freedom. Hmm. Y'all don't even talk to me. Well, he's the new guy. We don't, we, he's still on probation. Is his 90 days up? Did we certify him yet? Did we do a background check? Yes, you did. You did do a background check on me. Credit check. Every, just, never mind. Let me keep going. Here it is. Our community must be immune, must not be immune to each other. We must commune with each other. Our community must not be immune from each other. We must commune with each other. The New Testament church looks out for each other. They advised each other. They were connected. They supported each other. They celebrated. They pushed each other. They challenged each other. And if somebody challenged some of us, you'd be like, bro, you're not even the pat. Don't come at me like that. Dude, I, you don't know where I'm from. I'm from the west side. I will punch you in your throat. Don't come at me. I'm talking about where was I last week? Did I sign up for it? To volunteer, did I sign? If we come to somebody like that, hey, brother, we need some help um, with the, we have signups in the back for, to join the cleansing team. We have signups in the back to talk about um, Freedom Fest, that is a back to school outreach we're planning about. We have signups in the back to talk about all sorts of things. And you're like, don't, don't come at me like I'm busy. And somebody just really reaches out to you and wants, just wants your help, you would rebuke them on the spot. Let me keep going. I made you mad. But when you love someone, you look out for them. And you say, you know what? We mentor on the weekends. And our kids could really use a black male, even if you're just walking in the building and smiling at them. Can you just take an hour out of your busy? The grass is going to be there. You can cut the grass later, Joe. Matter of fact, most of y'all not even cutting your own grass. Never mind, I just made somebody mad with your bougie self. Let me keep going. We believe loved people love people. We welcome everyone. We care for everyone. And number three, and I'll get out of your way, and we pray for everyone. We pray for everyone. We pray for everyone. I'm in my conclusion. Somebody should be giving God glory right there. First Thessalonians. Who clapped? Let me see. It. Those are my friends. First Thessalonians. I do have friends. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 25. I'm in my conclusion. That's actually a signal. You all think I'm telling you. That's a signal for somebody to, uh, never mind. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, say it with me. Pray for. Let me be transparent for a moment. I know you all think this is easy. But. 
can you pray for somebody besides those who have your last name? See, when we stand up here, there's a Bible and it's a mirror. As we prepare sermons, there's a Bible and a mirror. These sermons rebuke the heck out of us. And, and they make us ask ourselves, Lord, are we living what we're preaching? Are we practicing what we actually preach? And when you take the time out of your busy schedule to pray for your pastors and your leaders and your deacons, it matters. It is possible for you to pray for someone that you don't love. Watch this. Anybody got a supervisor and you're like, Jesus, you better do it. You better do it, Jesus. Because if you don't, I will. <laughs> Have you ever asked yourself while you're on that job? Since we're talking about prayer, right? Maybe Jesus says, I need an intercessor I can trust. And I'm going to trust you not to cuss them out. I'm going to plant you in the midst of tension, sexism, racism, where you're training somebody's uh, cousin to do a job they're not even qualified for, but I'm going to trust you there. And you're trying to get out. And Jesus has all of us planted on this planet for a reason. And you're wondering, why am I in this crazy family? They are all cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. This cannot be my family. They from, they from Brookville Zoo, not me. And maybe God is saying in 1 Thessalonians, will you pray for them? As often as you gossip about them, will you pray for them? I know you won't invite them over, but will you pray for them? The politician you didn't vote for, will you pray for them? Your son, who you always saying, you're not this and you're not that, and your daughter, who, why won't you this and why won't you that? When was the last time you turned down your plate for your children? Why does the pastor have to call a fast and then you'll fast? When was the last time you turned down your plate for your spouse and said, Lord, I won't eat today until they're delivered. I won't eat today until I see a change in their life. Or you say this, Lord, maybe it's me that needs to change. Don't change my spouse, change me. I feel that right there. Somebody lift your hands. Lord, don't change my supervisor, change me. Don't change my spouse, change me. Don't change anything around me, change me. Change me. Get me together. Rebuke me. Show my error. Show my error. Show my error. Show me my selfishness. Show me my arrogance. Show me my self-righteousness. Show me how to love me so I can love them. Because it's me, O oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Prayer is our gateway. Prayer is our doorway. And it's the least thing we do. So we'll wait for Jarrell and George to shout us. And we won't pray. You'll come here for your spiritual high. And you won't talk to God for your own grown self. We can have an altar call and you'll come up and you want us to rub you down with baby oil. Not Johnson and John. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but you won't say our Father who art in heaven 
hallowed be thy name. I'm in my conclusion. That should make somebody happy. This week, I want to challenge you as you pray before you go to bed this week, do something with humility. Bow your knee. But I don't have to. No, you don't. I'm asking you to. But I can pray on my way, in, in, on my way to work. Yes, you can. But when you go home, when you wake up, even just for no reason, this week, I bet God will do something different. I bet you'll feel something different if you physically bowed. I believe loved people love people, and it starts with us. Bow your heads in prayer. Lord, you are amazing. You are good and you are kind. And we love you. And you know we love you. But that's not enough. Help us to love those who don't look like us. Help us to love those who were raised differently. Help us to love those who love differently themselves. Lord, create an environment where this is a judgment-free zone. Help us to love anyone and everyone breathing. If they have two legs, we're going to love them. If they roll in here on a wheelchair, we're going to love them. If they're special needs, we're going to love them. We're going to love them. And if you send them, we will serve them. If you send them, we will serve them. Because you created them, we will love them. And we're going to start first in our own homes. We will not love the church house more than we love our own house. So we to submit to our husbands and we submit to our wives. Help us to love our children and raise them in the way they should go. And we promise to be good stewards of the people that you have told us to love. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's stand to our feet for our benediction prayer. Prophetess, I want you to close us out in prayer. I want you to close us out in prayer. Jesus says to you, I swing wide the gates that those who trust in me and put their faith in me may enter in and sup with me. <laughs> Jesus wants to bless you this week. He's already blessed you with the word of God. Plant that in your heart. Feed on that. Think on that. Meditate on that. That you may reach out to others. Someone this week, reach out to one and pray for that one that they may know the one and only God in Jesus' name. Amen. It's your breath, it's your breath, and our lungs. So we pour out our praise. It's your breath in our lungs, God. So we pour out. Oh!
it's our breath in our lungs. So we pour out our praise, pour out our praise. It's your breath in our lungs. So we pour out our praise to you only. It's your breath in our lungs. In our lungs. It's your breath. It's your breath in our lungs. In our lungs. It's your breath. It's your It's your breath in our love, 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 in our